Welcome back to the channel, Rowdy Nation TV. Uh, as I said, we're going to get into Harry O'Harris, co-founder of Death Row Records. Uh, he was issued a pardon along with Kodak Black and Lil Wayne on, uh, on Wednesday, I believe it was. I think it was like one of the last things um, Donald Trump did before he left office. That pardon came late in the night, too. Can you imagine waiting for a pardon? And you know this guy's about to get out of there, right? And he only has so so many hours left, and you're just sitting there waiting. Because, you know, I was waiting waiting with him, you know, to see who he was going to pardon, to see actually if that pardon was going to come through. And um, I had to get up and go to work the next morning, so I missed it. I heard he came through after 1 o'clock in the morning. But uh, former death row artist um, Snoop Dogg, he uh, petitioned for Harry O to be released. He petitioned to Donald Trump you know, to um, the free Harry O. Harry O's been in prison for 31 years. You know, he's 59 years old. He, he gave um, Suge Knight, like, I think it's like 1. million, 1.5 million or 2 million to invest into, in, to invest into the label. You know, when, when Harry O caught uh, one of his employees stealing, he was taken to the mountains of Antelope Valley and, and shot several times. The employee, he lived. He survived the attack. And, and he went to testify against Harry, Harry O, you know, you know, you know, of, of course, you know, somebody shoots you a few times and you survive. <laughs> I, I, I think that's probably a no brainer. <clears throat> Harry O also produced a, a Broadway play. You know, he's a drug kingpin, so he had a lot, a lot of money. So I think he had a lot of investments, but I know one of, like they said, he produced this play on Broadway uh starring you know back then denzel washington nobody knew who Den denzel washington was at the time and the play was called checkmates so i'm not sure if any of you guys ever uh i've never heard of it before but i, I would like to see it but i guess becoming the first african-american to ever produce a broadway play he also owned a large amounts of uh real estate a successful limo and luxury car rental company and a number of Beverly Hills hair salons. So he was doing his thing out there. You know, he's a drug king, kingpin. You know, his kingdom of cocaine stretched from South Central, where Harris grew up, to the suburbs of in, in the valley and beyond. Once he conquered the, the L.A. market, uh, Harry O. expanded into other states around the country. You know, creating a distribution of, of um, you know, cities like Michigan, Illinois, Maryland, and Louisiana. So he got out there and he, he spread his wings, you know. So he was doing his thing. You figure if he came up in South Central um, California and he's producing plays on Broadway in New York, and this is back in the 80s when Denzel Washington, nobody knew who Denzel Washington was. So can you imagine, you can imagine, you know, how much money this guy was making in the, in the drug business? You know, you know, Suge Knight knew Harry O. You know, they were a few, uh, they were mutual affiliate, uh, affiliated with the Blood Street Gang. You know, I, th you know, I think he grew up in the neighborhood where the Bloods were. But according to what I'm seeing, he might have been affiliated. You know, you, you know, it seemed like he was more about the money, from what I'm getting. You know, what I'm saying, I don't, you know, I, th I think he's just a product of his environment. If you grow up in a certain neighborhood, then people are going to associate you with that neighborhood, and rightfully so. I'm not saying that he's not associated with it like that or whatever, but you know, that's where he grew up, and it seemed like he was more into making his money. You, you know, it says Harris dove into the rap and promotion game, you know, by creating Godfather in Entertainment. And they had some informants tell the FBI that Harris gave Knight $2 million to start Death Row Records. You know, $2 million, that's, you know, you can just give somebody $2 million, like, you know, to start on another venture that you're just not really, you're not even the face of. You know, that lets you know he, he doing his thing. You know, Harry O was about his business. And it says that uh, even though he was incarcerated, Harry O still exerted tremendous amount of influence at the label using phone calls and, and visits to voice his opinion. You know, you know, Knight toasted, um, Suge Knight, he toasted Harry O at a Beverly Hills uh, party uh, when Death Row was launched and attended by hip hop industry elite. You know, they said the party itself, Suge Knight's speech praising and toasting his benefactor was caught on tape by the FBI, you know what I mean? Knight 56, Suge Knight, he 56 right now, he's currently in jail, 
serving, um, uh, I think it's a 28 year sentence for manslaughter related to vehicular homicide, you know, from uh, 2015 beef over the use of uh, Suge Knight lightness in that straight out of Compton. Y'all know what he did. I don't know if y'all know, remember that. If you people remember that, y'all know that Suge Knight went up to the to the set of straight out of Compton. And, you know, that's where he caught, I believe that's on the set, you know, that's where he caught his case. He was trying to go up there and be like, y'all not going to be using my likeness, my image, and y'all not going to pay me. You know, so he went up there and unfortunately things went you know, went sideways and 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 and, and somebody lost their life, which is very unfortunate. But we're gonna get back. It says uh, Defro Records put put the rest in 2005, um, and Harry O's ex-wife won a crippling federal lawsuit for retroactive proceeds from from the 18 million dollar album sold by the label. 18 18 million albums. They sold, Death Row sold 18 million albums. That's, that's, that's a lot. You know, and it says that Harris financed the groundbreaking label was shut down shortly thereafter. Then it says during the 2010s, Harris helped start Second Chance Ministries in San Antonio back in 2019. When it looked like he was getting out of prison, he told BOP officials he intended to move to Texas and work as a prison rights activist upon his release. You know, so like I said, I just want to get that little information out there about Harry O. Harris. You know, he was a big drug time, uh, drug kingpin out of um, South Central uh, Los Angeles, and and he was he was doing it back in the '80s. You know, like I said, he was doing it state to state, so it wasn't just like he was. So he wasn't a small time. He was a drug kingpin, and like I said, he got involved in. Um, uh, making Broadway plays all the way out in uh, Cal uh, all the way out in New York and 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 one of the people that they discovered was um Denzel Washington and this is back in the 80s nobody knew who Denzel Washington was so like I say this brother won his um freedom he got pardoned by uh Donald J Trump former president Donald J Trump pardoned him on Wednesday so I know the hip hop community I know Snoop Snoop you know like I say Snoop praised uh Donald Trump for doing that you know and he was you know he had some very derogatory he made a made a um rap video about Donald Trump you know but Donald Trump y'all know what he did you know all the stuff he did so we're not gonna feel sorry for that but anyway I just wanted to bring that that little bit of information to you about who Harry uh, Michael Harry O. Harris is and you know why people a lot of other people was petitioned for his release too not just Snoop Dogg so just to let you know that just to bring a little insight on who this man is he's a reformed and changed individual who's out here trying to make um, you know trying to help other people so you know we always gotta um, you know give 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 a person a second chance and and it seems like this brother is deserving of it so like I said before Click the like button and subscribe. Tell a friend to join in with us and maybe I can bring you some more information about some other people that we don't know about in the past, present, and future that's making news, that's breaking news on the Rowdy, Rowdy um, Nation TV. And like I said, click that like button and subscribe. Rowdy Nation TV, I'm signing off.